Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca and I have my favorite drugstore press powders. So I'm obsessed with press powder. Yeah, I know, right? There's, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I think it's because I found that dupe. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, because I know a lot of you are here, I think from that video. So thank you, hello, welcome. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen my dupe, latest dupe video, I will put it in the iCard above. I just feel like there are so many good drugstore pressed powders out there that I reach for constantly. I have high-end powders too, but I just always love these and I, oh, hang on. Oh, that was beautiful. I think there are some that a lot of YouTubers talk about and you're probably very familiar with and maybe they're your favorite as well. And then I feel like there's some that we don't talk about, but I have discovered do a really good job. I've got a variety of price ranges of finishing pressed, like as in setting powder or even a powder foundation. So it's kind of like, but I use, I usually use one powder for like three different things. Um, and so that's typically kind of what makes them champions in my book. <laughs> champions. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna share with you is an oldie but goodie. Is that what OG means? <laughs> Shade selection, and we know this, it's a problem. Physician's Formula, get your act together. Physician's Formula is owned by Mark Wins, which is Wet n Wild, and they have a huge selection of shades. And they also put out Black Radiance. Black Radiance? Yeah, Black Opal, which is the one? Yeah, so I don't understand why Physician's Formula is, <laughs> is up just there like, ah, eh, we'll just put a few light medium shades. Okay, <laughs> so this is Physician's Formula. This is Creamy Natural. This is talc free. It has SPF and it's, there's several like this. Like I feel like Physician's Formula has so many good mineral powders that are either powder foundation, finishing powder, setting powder, just powder bronzing, powder sunscreen. Like it's, They've, they've got, oh, the, the, the multi, you know, where it's like marbled. So this one is just, uh, it's called airbrush pressed powder. Airbrushing is actually what it's really called, pressed powder. So think of it as like your finishing powder. This is the shade Creamy Natural. It comes in translucent. You would think, oh, well, it comes in translucent. So anyone can use it. But the translucent, I think, has quite a cast to it. This, I like this Creamy Natural actually because as pale as I am, this shade is, is pale, but it has a little more color to it. What I love about it is it feels creamy. I know that's the name, Creamy Natural, but it feels so soft. I really think that they need to update their packaging. The, this is just kind of not doing it for anybody. Um, but honestly, the product itself is so good. What's the SPF? 30. So this is a fabulous touch-up product. You need to be putting on SPF every two hours. Maybe not in February, maybe not in the middle of winter, or you know, if you're in Michigan and there's eight feet of snow outside, I get it. But other times when we are outside, out and about for hours on end, you need to reapply sunscreen every two hours, and you can do it with a powder sunscreen. So. Yeah, I, I really like this and it's talc free and that is important to a lot of people. So this gets a low mark just because it's kind of high price and it's for drugstore and very few, like the shade range is not great. So this is just a setting powder, but I think people maybe use it for powder foundation. It's the L'Oreal True Match and I like this because it has a ton of shade. This is W3, I think it's a little pale, like I think I could, I have so much powder on right now, you guys. Oof. Keep in mind when you put powder on with a brush, like a soft, fluffy brush, you are going to get a different application than when you take a sponge and pat it on or a puff, you know. So I even like to take something like this, like a flocked sponge 
and go in and put powder on because you get this like crazy airbrush finish. But this is a very nice powder. This works beautifully over foundations and touch up and I think it sets under the eyes nicely too. What I really love recently, and we've talked about this, is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. This is a phenomenal powder for finishing, setting, setting under uh, concealer, under the eyes. Like, it doesn't crease for me. This, this is just so good in terms of just smoothing the skin. It makes everything so flawless. So the shade range is okay, I think. I've got shade 210 Classic Ivory, and it is not intended to be, you know, powder foundation or anything like that. Um, this is pretty translucent. You know, it doesn't have any <sighs> pigment that it's gonna leave behind, honestly. The problem is the price. This is so, expensive at like Walgreens and Ulta. It's $17, I think even CVS, but like at Target, it's $11. So CoverGirl needs to make up their mind and not price out their consumers because it says it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So they're kind of doing that simply ageless thing where they had the Olay serum and they priced everything a little more because it's like, oh, but you're getting so many benefits in one product. And I get that, but let's be real. You don't go to the drugstore to pick up your, your just your pressed CoverGirl powder and drop $17. So I just, I love the product. I hate the price inconsistency. And All right. One that I don't think people talk about enough, but is so beautiful, is the NYX uh, No Filter Powder. I've talked about this before. This is such a pretty, pretty product. <laughs> it's baked, and because you know you can tell it's got like that, you know, it's baked, right? So it is the finishing powder. This is shade porcelain. I think the shade range is okay. I think what you see maybe on the shelf at like Target or Ulta isn't extensive, but maybe if you go to the NYX website, you'll find quite a few shades. A lot of you folks, when I talk about this powder, you've mentioned the uh, Laura Geller powder, which is, it's that baked powder and it's so good. Like it really does a good job. Laura Geller though, I I don't, I, I like some of those products, but I think it got discontinued from Ulta. I think they filed chapter 11 last year. They've, I've seen them in um, Marshalls a lot and I think that they're still in maybe Kohl's, maybe even some of the other websites like Beauty Bay or, um, oh, what's the other one? Um, I know that they're not gone. I just feel like it's hard to find mainstream. But you know, you can throw a cat and find NYX. Like it's, they're everywhere. I love it. Let's, okay. let's say we're at the podium now. Let's say we've got the bronze medal and there's a tie for the bronze medal. And then we've got silver and gold. The tie for the bronze medal is first, a product I haven't mentioned yet. Have I? Uh, I don't think you've heard me talk about this before on my channel. I like to surprise you. I like to keep you guessing and be like, look, you haven't heard me talk about this. Um, this is Revolution. This is Revolution Pro Revolution Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution. Sometimes I can't keep them straight. So this is the Pressed Powder Infinite. This one, it looks white. It's translucent. It has niacinamide in it. And I know it says that and it's like, oh, look at me. I'm so great. Niacinamide. I actually think there is something really good about this. I am so impressed with this. This is, if you want colorless, if you don't want to add anything to your foundation, to whatever you've already applied, because some of these other powders kind of have a little bit of coverage. If you don't want any coverage, but you want to just have this like blur, smooth, you know, where you just kind of go, wait, what? Did that just happen? This powder, this powder, and the niacinamide, probably trace amounts when it comes down to it and what you're applying powder wise. 
but it helps. It's nice. It makes my skin feel soft. So I do like this. It's very affordable. I think the compact is nice. I'm really into this um, packaging design. Hint, hint, physician's formula. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's great. I really do. I really like it. It's very soft. Okay. And then this one, <sighs> e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. finishing powder. It's sheer, so you're not supposed to have like a, an exact match. But um, this one is sheer tint, light medium, yes. This sheer tint finishing powder is so pretty. And it has a bit, this light medium one, has like a little bit of coverage, but not a lot. And it's just nice. Let me see if I can like buff out my, um, I mean, I never know what you can see or can't see, but it's so good. It's so affordable. It's e.l.f. I love it. This is beautiful. This, this works for me. Um, I probably reach for this e.l.f. pressed powder as much as I reach for like the halo when I'm reaching for e.l.f the halo powder. Like that is such a nice product. It's sheer, but it has like a good, just like a good blur to it. I'm gonna show you these at the same time because I really, they're so incredibly different. Um, and we've talked about them kind of ad nauseum. So I don't wanna build this up to be like, and then go, huh? So did you like that? The top two drugstore press powders in my book are the number seven finishing powder and the J-Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance. I know, some of you may be disappointed. Some of you may be like, we know, Rebecca. And some of you may be like, right? I mean, you're in agreement. Or you're blown away and you've never heard of them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you like this. I have every shade this comes in, which isn't very many. That, oh, you guys, this is, maybe I take this metal away because of the shade range. But it's a beautiful, beautiful product. Do not get Charlotte Tilbury. No, I love Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, you do not need that powder. Just get this or this. It's, yeah. Okay. So the number seven, everybody talks about this, I think. I think Stephanie Marie kind of, like I had had them all in my drawer and I loved them, but I kind of loved them secretly. And then Stephanie Marie started talking about them and I feel like now everyone's talking about them. Lisa J, like we all love them. Okay, so this is the light medium. There is something beautiful and magic about this powder. It is so soft. It is so airbrushed. It really, really does a good job. It's so affordable. It's just a very nice powder. The compact is elegant. It's $12 depending on where you buy it. So it's just nice. I think it comes in light, light, medium, and medium. So it's, it's beautiful. Now, one that comes in a ton of shades. You can wear it as a setting powder. You can wear it just to kind of buff out something, or you can put it on like powder foundation of such incredible coverage, but no chalky, no cakiness, no powderiness, nothing. This is it. The J-Cat Beauty Aqua Assurance Powder. This is so pretty. I have shade natural. I have shade ivory as well, which makes me just look a little too pale. So this shade to me, like the coverage is crazy. Like the coverage is crazy. Um, and there's like one or two people out there that I know don't like it. That's fine. Taylor Wynn though, she just, she likes it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 This is just a fabulous product. It's cushiony. It's creamy. It, it just, you know, it's got such a phenomenal finish to it. It wears, it doesn't move on the skin and it covers everything. <laughs> Every skin can wear it. And I just think it's, beautiful. I'm going to take just a light dusting of it. I don't even know. So 
So like I will just kind of do a little bit of this action everywhere if I want to blur stuff out. But um, also if you want, oh, you know what? It, it does such a good job. If you're like going to some hot climate and you want to wear really like full coverage makeup, but you don't want everything to just run off your face, this is it. That's everything. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope this was fun for you and I hope you enjoy my channel. Subscribe, all that stuff. Leave me a comment. Hey, if you're not one to leave comments on channels, how about leave one for me and say hi, cause I will say hi back to you. <laughs> um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.